guys, it's Ruby. Today we are staying at the Virgin Hotel in Las Vegas. You guys requested this one a lot. We have just checked in. We are in their standard king. These are called the king chamber rooms. We're on the second floor. Let's take a look around. I am loving the decor in here. It's very postmodern, funky, and like a bright color palette. Um, huge bed here. There is this kind of like fun little L thing behind it. I don't know what it's for, but it's cool. They have a full couch in here that has like a little wrap around and a table. So it's like you have a whole living space in this room. It says it's 460 square feet, but it definitely feels larger. There is patio doors in this room. You cannot open them all the way, but you can open them up and let in some fresh air. Our view, even though we're on the second floor, is actually of the pool area. It's a great view. It looks really nice out there. Now you do have your wet bar area underneath a big TV. There is no personal fridge, so that is a bummer. But overall, I'm loving the art. I'm loving the funky light fixtures. This one's cool, I'm digging it. You have a true front entryway into this room. In fact, there's actually a door that you can shut to the bedroom section if you were doing adjoining rooms. In the front hall here, you have a really great sized closet. You could easily fit all of your luggage and this wonderful vanity with mirrors. They have outlets here. There's a lot of outlets in the room in general. So this would be a really great spot to get ready. Yep. layout is really nice too. So the sink and vanity area is actually outside of where the toilet and the shower is. Full closed glass doors, not one of those half ones. So I do really like that. There's some new bath products here we haven't tried yet. So that's going to be exciting. Honestly, I feel like for two people, this is going to be a super comfortable room. It feels really spacious and a good flow to the layout. bed feels soft. So we have never set foot in the Virgin before. We are coming here with Virgin eyes and there's a lot to explore. We have a full day ahead. I didn't eat any breakfast, so I am hungry. Let's go find some lunch. seated at Cassie Beach House. This is a cute restaurant. They have a whole indoor outdoor thing going on. You can totally see the pool from the outdoor patio. They have a really extensive cocktail menu and they also serve brunch and lunch right now. So you could get like their Italian coastal vibe if you want to do pastas and pizzas, but they also have a full brunch menu. So we're going to take a peek. I want to get something a little different. Got our food. Mr. Ruby went with a burger. It was a double patty burger. It looked huge, good size. It came with fries. And then I ordered the beet salad. So it was golden beets. It had an olive oil and parsley drizzle. And I got a grilled salmon on the side. Just like a really nice light lunch. But the star of the show, I ordered a set of french fries and the truffle aioli is to die for. Washed it all down with a mint and watermelon spritzer. Non-alcoholic, but really light and refreshing. I'm really enjoying this restaurant. It's pretty. I could easily bring my sisters back here, have some cocktails, a little bit of brunch. We are gonna finish up here and then seeing that pool out there, we need to go get changed into our suits and head out and check it out. Falling in love is wonderful. Falling in love is wonderful. All hot air. They say. They say. We are here at the Virgin Pool area. It's a lot bigger than it looks. We're in the lower pool, which is actually blocked off really nice on this kind of windy day. But if you go up the stairs, there's a whole nother second pool area with an infinity edge. They've also got a whole green space, an outdoor concert venue, and Aaliyah Beach, which is their weekend day club, and they have local DJs. 
I love the layout. It's really beautiful out here. Lots of greenery. Also, all of the restaurants face here and they all have outdoor patios, which is really nice. The pool has two sandbars that you can walk in from. I love when they do the real sand. We grabbed a cabana. The cabanas here are $150, and that's just a flat rate. You don't have to rack up a food and beverage minimum. Overall, this is like a really good sized pool area. It's relaxing, and there's multiple places to hang out. There's a lot of outdoor space, so I'm really enjoying it. Falling in love is wonderful. Falling in love is wonderful. Okay. Just got back from the pool and now there is so much more of the resort to explore. We need to check out the casino. We also have a really nice dinner and some drinks tonight. So we're going to head downstairs and take a look around. casino is actually pretty large. We're here in the main front area. It's kind of a circle. It's by the check-in. That's where you're going to find the table games. But if you keep walking to the other towers, there are a ton more slot machines back there and some lounges. They have the high limit slots and the high limit table area. That lounge was really pretty. As far as the table games go, three to two on the blackjack and that was a $10 minimum. Roulette was $10 and craps was 15. So pretty standard for a weekday. I just feel like there's definitely a lot you could play in here, lots of table games, and I like the overall vibe. Let's talk about the location of the Virgin. This is where the Hard Rock Hotel used to be. It changed over to the Virgin in March of 2021. We're on the corner of Harmon and Paradise. We're not on Strip, but we're just barely off Strip. It's about a five minute drive to Center Strip. It's gonna be a cheap Uber. However, I don't think I would walk it in the Las Vegas heat. There are a lot of restaurants inside the Virgin. A Mexican restaurant, a Thai restaurant, they have a Nobu, they have one steakhouse that's supposed to be really good for cheap eats. They have a Dunkin', they've got a cheap pizza place, they have an ice cream parlor. But for dinner tonight, we really wanted to check out Todd English's Olives. It sounds really good, let's head inside. We just got seated at Todd English's Olives. This is a beautiful restaurant, really nice steak for. We're gonna start out with some focaccia bread. I ordered an espresso martini. This is an Italian-based menu, so I think pasta is definitely on the agenda. First of all, let me just say the service in here has been absolutely exceptional. We started with some appetizers. So we did get beef carpaccio. We got the half portion, it's massive. It had a polenta cake underneath that was warm. And that with the arugula and the balsamic with that raw beef, it was very delicious. We also got the arancini, deep fried risotto. Need I say more, it's like one of the best things on earth. Definitely get that. Now for our mains, I ordered the butternut squash tortelli. Think of it as like a long ravioli. This was very sweet. It's almost like a sweet potato casserole. Then Mr. Ruby ordered the chicken parm. It's shareable to say the least. We should have just got that and split it because it was so massive. He also got a little bit of pasta vodka sauce on the side. So overall, the meal has been delicious. The service is great and the atmosphere is awesome. So we are full, really shareable portions really high quality service. They treat you so well in there. So highly recommend this restaurant. It was awesome. There are several bars and lounges in here to check out. One of them is doing an open mic night. So we definitely want to go check that out. Shag room. 
This place is awesome. It's a bar behind a bar. No cover. And all the seats are free. You just It's first come, first serve on the seating. Honestly, it's open mic night on Wednesdays. They're going to play a variety of different music. You're going to hear everything. It is so cool to see like fresh local talent. Strong drinks, free seating, fun, fresh talent. The Shag Room is an absolute vibe. Good morning, you guys. We grabbed some coffee from Dunkin'. I put an Instagram poll up on who has the best black coffee. I personally think it's McDonald's, but as always, we'll start by talking about the room. We're in the Canyon Tower. This tower was the closest to the pool. Looking at the upcoming rate calendar for these rooms, the cheapest you're gonna find them on the weekdays is about $130 altogether with taxes and resort fees. If you are a Hilton member, you can also get major discounts because this is a Hilton hotel. This room is big and spacious. It's almost like a suite. It's brand new. It's really nicely furnished. My only complaint was not having a shelf in the shower. We had to like put our toiletries on the ground. I didn't like that. At night, there just were not a lot of people gambling on the casino floor. I really don't think it should be this quiet. This property was fun and it, I can't stress enough how pretty it is. And I think it deserves a little more love here. I talked to about four subscribers on the casino floor. I met them out there. Comment below if you're one of them. And they all said the same thing, that they really like this property. I'm gonna go ahead and just say, I think this is probably one of the most underrated properties in Vegas right now in terms of the quality and what they're charging. The real question is, do I get to take the sheep? because why did they put this little friend in my room if I'm not allowed to steal him? We will see you guys all in my next review.